We are entering days of the new ways. We are entering the days of new ways. I want to encourage you with this. You might have sensed that there is a new way for you to do things with the Lord. He's asking you to do things differently. It is good and right, and yet it feels very clunky. Now, remember that clunky doesn't mean wrong. Clunky means new. And when you feel clunky, it's perhaps that it's brand new and you haven't yet settled into a new normal. So keep going, even though it's clunky. If you're a person that likes to be articulate, you like to have the language worked out on what you're saying, you like to have the strategy from one to two to three or A, B, C, all in line, um, this can be a very unsettling season for you. But similarly, if you're a person who loves to flow with Holy Spirit and there's this real beautiful, graceful flow that happens when Holy Spirit's empowering you, you might be feeling at a loss with that at the moment because of the clunkiness. And so it is also really unsettling. Remember that clunky is not wrong or bad. Clunky is new. Now, the new way of the Lord is going to bring an increase in your capacity, an increase in your efficiency, and it's also going to mean the output of energy that was required by those things for you in the past is going to now be less. So I really encourage you to keep pressing in with this new way with the Lord. In the Gospels, you might remember a story where the disciples come up against a person who has a demon and they cannot cast the demon out and away from this person. Now, Jesus comes along and has success straight away. And they say to Jesus, why couldn't we cast the demon out? And he says, this type can only come out by prayer and fasting. Now, the point wasn't that Jesus had spent all morning in prayer and fasting for what was about to happen. The point was that the Lord lived his life in submission to the Lord's authority and close to the Father constantly. And that is the new way for us. And so that meant that wherever Jesus went, whatever came up in front of him of what he was to encounter, what he was to step into, what he was to do, he was ready. He was ready at all times because he had been close to the Father in his presence and in submission to the Lord in his life. Now we are called to be living in this way. And so that means that as we step out our life, we at all times are actually ready. And some of you might need to know that you are more ready than you think. You might have been waiting so long to finally get there and feeling so over ready. And now that it might be erupting, you're thinking, I'm not ready, but the Lord says you are ready. It's different. It's a new way of operating out of the Lord's presence that is in you, the way that he fills you, the way that he prepares you. Now to enter and practically have time with the Lord, spend time in his presence. Don't be worrying about what he is doing, what he is saying, what he is changing for you, what he's making happen. Don't worry about the specifics. It's simply just the wonder of being able to be with the creator of the earth, to be with the savior of the world, that we get to be in his presence and that that is enough. Who he is, is enough to change you and to transform in you and have you ready for everything that you are coming up into doing that is in your days coming ahead. This is the new way to to operate out of that place rather than having the strategy all planned out, all the words in order, all the ducks in a row. The new way is to be in his presence continuously. So don't be discouraged if it feels clunky. It, that doesn't mean it's wrong. That means it's new. Step in by faith. Enjoy your time with the Lord. There will be much more rest there. So I bless you in that word today. Go well.